now back to CRL. Welcome back to CRL. Billy Gilman, our in-studio guest, talking about this brand new album. It is in stores called Music Through Heart Songs, and it's songs based upon poems written by Maddie J.T. Stepanek. Stepanek. I, I want to make sure I get that I name right. It, I say it wrong sometimes, you know, and then and they correct me because, uh, down at the MDA headquarters because I was uh, named the National Youth Chairperson. So I did do some, you know, promo things, and mm -hmm. I kept saying Stepanek, but it is. It's Stepanek. hard when you look at it the way it's spelled on the book or on the album. Right, yeah, it can right, be a little difficult. Right. Well, tell us about singing from Maddie's point of view. I think this might have been, or from what I can tell, one of the big challenges in recording this album for you. It was a challenge, you know, after the after I was, you know, done recording mm -hmm. my voice. Um, I was like, I could do a whole drama series and win an Oscar, you know, <laughs> because it's it's easier on 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 video mm -hmm. because you don't have to portray the the words strong. You can cry and everyone think it will be a sad scene, mm -hmm. as opposed to recording in the studio. You have to milk it, you have to sell the lyrics, mm -hmm. so people will think it's sad because they can't see you cry. Speaking of selling the lyrics and speaking of crying, there was one song that Maddie wrote. Uh, about his older brother, Jamie, who had passed away from this disease, and it's called It Happened Anyway, and I, I defy anybody to listen through this song without just tearing I can't even talk about it without tearing up, but Isn't boy, it? you sing that song and take us right there with you. Thank you. How was that? Was that pretty emotional for you? To it was sing tough, like and uh, there's another song on the album called uh, Possession, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, a, it's, it's without the fear of it, and you'll hear it when, you, when the album comes out, and you know, it got me depressed. You know, sometimes we'd have to change the subject and go to a fun song or something because, you know, I'd get so in the moment and so depressed mm -hmm. and so sad. I was going to ask you, did, was it affected? I mean, were you affected? Do you, do you see things differently now that you've read all these books? And I all do, these you know. Um, I, I complain, you know, about my voice. Why isn't it there? Why, you know, because I'm going through the voice change, you know. But compared to Maddie's problems, you kind know. Kind of puts things in perspective, in perspective, it? you know, keeps you on the ground and, and says, so what? It'll, it'll level out. It'll... Right. it'll It'll go back, you know. So. Well, let's talk about you, man. Now, you've been yeah. on every TV show from Oprah to, to Larry King to The yeah. Dictation. What have you enjoyed the most in your career so far? And it's still a very young, young career. Yes. Uh, you know, just, just live performances, you know. There's mm -hmm. nothing like a live performance. Uh, being in control with the band, you know, uh, uh, hearing the audience scream. You know, it's just, it's just a great feeling. Do you have a favorite memory from being on stage, from performing so far? Well, there was a memory. I'll never forget it. <laughs> Uh, for better or for worse. For better or for worse. I'll never forget it. And kind of for, you know, it was like in the middle of for better or for worse. Right in the middle leading towards for worse. But uh, we were in Milwaukee, this great big state, uh, like a big fair, mm -hmm. huge show. And um, all of a sudden I saw this thing fly up on stage and it was a training bra. Oh, you're kidding me. Somebody's throwing training bras. So that was a moment you, you can never forget. I Did know. you keep it? No. No. Somebody no. probably came and got it back or wanted you probably, to get it back or something probably, like that. Probably. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's just, you never know what, you know, and you never know what fans will do, you know. So, it gets uh, kind of crazy up there. It gets kind of crazy. But you're enjoying it. You seem like you're having a blast. Yeah, I'm having a blast. Let's talk about Rapid Fire. This is something I love to do with you guys before you leave. Get to know you a little bit better. Mm -hmm. TV show that you can't miss. Oh, I love the, I love the game shows and all that, but... Uh, I have to say, Everyone Loves Raymond. I love that Isn't show. Isn't that great? It's hysterical. I like that one, too. Last movie you saw? Chicago. Really? Chica like was, that? Oh, the score and the dancing. and, and Who'd the you like better, Catherine Zeta-Jones or Renee? They, they, they each had an individual, individual part, part. In it and they did it great. Favorite food? Kentucky Fried Chicken. Mmm, I'm with you on that one. Oh, we have to rent videos and have potato, to take oh, you know, And the macaroni and cheese? Mac yes. I'm telling you. And uh, music that you're listening to right now, favorite CD that's in a CD player for you? Well, I have a disc changer, so the five CDs that are in my thing right now are Tim McGraw, this new song from uh, one of the guys of NSYNC, JC, the guy, mm -hmm. that's a great, uh, great thing. musically, you know, the background vocals are great. Um, let's see, who is in it right now? I haven't been home. Well, that's uh, good. Those two are good, from Tim McGraw right. to NSYNC. You're pretty yeah, diverse. I'm like pretty that diverse. kind of eclectic yeah. taste. Yeah. We've got somebody standing by on the phone right now, Caitlin in Knoxville. I know she's a big fan of yours, and she's been waiting to talk to you. Caitlin, say hey to Billy Gilman. Hey. Hi, Caitlin. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fine. Caitlin, do you have a question or a comment for Billy? You'd like to say something to Billy? Um, yeah. You were going to come to Dollywood um, uh, last year. Yes. Are you going to be down here again sometime? I hope so. We're going to uh, hopefully in the fall or next year we're going to be starting to tour again, and uh, hopefully we'll catch you catch there soon. We'll go by there soon. So cool. look forward to that. Billy coming to Dollywood. He'll and I guess you'll probably jump on your website and find that out, right? Yeah, yeah. 
So, Caitlin, be sure to check Billy's website for that info, okay? Okay. Would Thanks. you like to see a video? Um, yeah, can you play one voice? We'll Absolutely. do it for you. Remember Thanks, doing this Caitlin. One? Gosh, Billy, this was a few years ago. It was. Huh? Yeah, Three years ago. It was ago. a hot day, too. We were on a bus with screaming kids, you know. <laughs> it, was, it was fun. It was, it's it was a great one. It's the one that put you on the map. Let's take a look. Billy Gilman, it's one voice. <laughs>